story we were talking about earlier at the top of the newscast, we are going to have a live reporter Ann Maxwell joining us from St. Mary's now. We were talking about the new documents laying out what investigators believe happened after a man was killed in Camden County. And Ann, you have records detailing the kidnapping and the brutal murder. That's right, Tarek. It was just a week ago from today, John Mamp's body was found in the water not far from where I'm standing. And soon afterward, five people were arrested and charged in connection to his murder. And today in these affidavits, we are learning that investigators believe all five of them worked together to tie him up and leave him for dead. He was someone's son, someone's nephew. He was a little a little boy's dad. According to the St. Mary's Police Department, John Scooter, Mamp's body, was found in the water, gagged by a rope tied around his neck and head, and his hands bound behind his back. He had to be cut free because the rope was attached to what looked like a roll of aluminum roofing in a black bag full of rocks. He didn't deserve this. Takesha Parrish is a longtime family friend who says she's known Mamp since he was a young child, the youngest of five children, born to a single mother. He grew up in the Tampa area, and when he was in his early 20s, his mom died suddenly of cancer. Parrish says he struggled after that and moved to Georgia with family. Five people are now charged with Mamp's murder. 27-year-old Anthony Mistretta, 36-year-old Deborah Doherty, 55-year-old Frank Kennedy III, 33-year-old Megan Robison, and 25-year-old Bernice McGuire. Police say all of them are homeless. The GBI says they're known to frequent the area known as Gilligan's Island. According to affidavits, Mamp was sleeping with Robison in her tent at Gilligan's Island on the morning of July 5th when Mistretta, Doherty, Kennedy, and McGuire started heading toward it. The affidavit suggests Mamp and Mistretta had been fighting with each other about women they were dating. But people in the area told News for Jax they had been in conflict over a tent. According to records, Mistretta hit Mamp in the face. He was then hogtied and thrown into McGuire's SUV, where Kennedy continued to beat him and strangle him with a seatbelt. The affidavit says McGuire and Doherty drove Mamp to the shoreline, and Mistretta and Kennedy took him out on a boat, tied him to a weighted object, and dropped him in the water. Parrish says just months before his death, Mamp was upbeat and talking about going back to school and making plans with his son. He was just a young man trying to figure out life after losing his mother, who was his entire world. That's who he was. He was just 29 years old. And I just heard from his sister, Janet Miller, in the past hour or so. She sent me a text saying our family is just lost for words right now. John, a.k.a. Scooter, was loved so much. He was the youngest out of the five of us. He always had a smile on his face. He was very loving. He loved being a father and was the world's best uncle. He didn't deserve this, and no family should ever have to go through this. She also said the family is grateful to everybody who's helped out with this case, that uh, arrests were able to be made so quickly. The GBI tells me this is still an active investigation. Live tonight from St. Mary's and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station.